Let's draw the diagram for A complement union B complement. Just going to quickly draw myself the two circle Venn diagram. There's one circle for A, there's one circle for B. I'm going to label the outside as S. Some teachers use U for universe, but I use S for sample space. And in this diagram, I'm going to get to comp I'm going to get to shade in all of the sections that are not inside of A or also not inside of B. Now the or operator here means that a section only has to fit one of these descriptions or both in order to count towards the whole. So I can do each of these individually and then just be sure not to double shade anything. I get to shade anything that's not inside of A. So this section here on the very outside is definitely not inside of A. And this section here is also not inside of A because it's inside of B. I didn't shade this because it is in the A circle. Get it? Now I also get to shade sections that are not inside B. So I don't get to shade this because it is inside the B circle. But I do get to shade this section in addition because it wasn't inside B. And I know that it was inside A which goes against this. But the or operator means that either this description or alternatively and separately this decision, either one of those could be true in order for a section to get shaded. That's it. And I'm gonna show you one other quick thing here about factoring out this complement. The same way as if you start with two X plus six, and you pull a greatest common factor of two out and then divide both of those terms by two, you're gonna be able to factor out the complement here as well. Now I'm gonna put the leftovers in brackets and put the complement on the outside, just like I pulled the two out and put it on the outside of brackets in algebra. A complement without the complement is A. Union, once you uncomplement it or complement it, flips to intersect, and B complement without the complement is separately B. So you should get the same diagram if you do A intersect B, and then you complement that whole thing. Well, just to emphasize that to you, A intersect B is actually only this section that's in between the two circles. And then when you complement that, you end up with this. The sections that were not shaded here are shaded here, and the section that was shaded here is not shaded here. That's the effect of the complement. Cool, two different ways to solve that same problem, and you understand both of them. Congratulations, and best of luck.